Good morning, encourage me. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning to you, Pastor G. I trust you're doing well this morning. I am doing well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. After the, I'm going to ask you that after you finish your encouragement, just pray for the broadcast. You are here, all right? Okay, thank you. Amen. 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 So, go ahead. It's so funny because I felt it in my spirit too to pray. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Lord always know what he's doing. And I was I was sitting here. I said, well, you know, she's here. And since she could do the encouragement, yes. now let's just ask her to pray. If it's the way the Spirit of God works. If our spirits are not connected well, we ain't in the kingdom, right? <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's true. Amen. 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 So, yes. So go ahead and share. Amen. Amen. What God has for us this morning. Amen. Good morning again, everyone. And welcome to another word of encouragement uh, today. Uh, the theme for today is we are blessed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's pause for a moment to reflect. Whatever we have today is given to us by God. He supplied our needs according to his riches in glory. As children of God, we see the blessings of God in our lives daily. From waking up in the morning to having the strength to fulfill in purpose. A lot of times we don't see these things because of complaining day and night. Psalms 1, 1 to 3 explains that blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doeth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. We are called to be set apart from this world and not conform to the things in it. We each have our individual seasons when things look good and when situations allow us to see the blessings of God in our lives. I know, I'm sure you know those situations I'm talking about. You see, I've grown so much to stop saying these things. My day was bad, my week was bad, the previous month was bad, and much more whenever I face difficulties. The word of God tells us that in our season, we will bring forth fruit. We are like a tree planted by the rivers of water. We must dwell in the presence of God daily and not leave when it gets rough. Draw near to God and he will draw near to us. I, I oftentimes say God does things backward. And no matter how the situation may seem, we always see his hands at work uh, in our lives. Complaining about the things we cannot control make our God seem less than or make us lack complete trust and confidence in him. If today you feel or if I feel as though nothing is working in our favor, I want us, I want to encourage us to shift our perspective and our focus today. I want uh, us to do some introspection of our life. If God has kept us all the days in our lives, then why can't we see our situation as, as blessed and not bad? Our blessings are true and sure. Let us not forget that. Uh, let us not forget to thank God in the midst of our circumstances. In doing so, we see his blessings upon our life in our life, all the days of our life, as long as we continue to dwell in his presence daily. Have a wonderful day and God bless you. And don't forget to, and don't forget, you are blessed. I am blessed. We are blessed because God is our father. Amen. Father, we come in your presence today. We thank you uh, for your word. We thank you for all that you do. We thank you for everything, mighty God, because Lord God, sometimes truly when the situations come in our life, mighty God, we uh, tend to complain sometimes, mighty God, and not see the blessing 
Dear Lord, every challenging situations that we face in life, mighty God, it is to sh it, it's, it is a way, mighty God, for, for you to show us, mighty God, that you are there with us. It is to show us, mighty God, that, Lord God, you have not forsaken us. You have not left our presence, mighty God. You are always there with us. And so, Father, I pray at this moment, oh God, that you continue, oh God, to help us, mighty God, to remain strong, to remain focused, to remain mighty. Um, Mighty God, at your footstool daily, mighty God, and to just continue, oh God, to bask in your blessing. This morning, oh God, I pray for the broadcast, mighty God, this morning. I pray over the network, oh God. I pray that every individual that is tuning in today, mighty God, that Lord God, that, that you will, Lord God, you know, help us, mighty God, to understand, mighty God, that you are speaking uh, in this season, mighty God, a season that seems like it's dry, a season, mighty God, that seems as if nothing is happening. And so God, I pray at this moment that you, Father, cover the broadcast this morning and cover Pastor G and cover uh, um, a, a lady, uh, cover um, lady, I forgot her name, mighty God. I pray that you cover her, mighty God, as she come on, mighty God, today to, to share, mighty God, this morning, Father. I pray that you uh, uh, bless them, the Bernard family, mighty God. Bless Lady Bernard and, and, and Pastor Bernard, mighty God, that you continue, uh, mighty God, to be with them, mighty God, today. As she comes on, mighty God, to share that you, mighty God, will you know continue, oh God, to uplift and strengthen her, mighty God. Remember Lady G as well, mighty Mighty God, I pray for her family as well, mighty God, that you continue to be with her, 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 her grandson, her granddaughter, mighty God, and every individual, mighty God. Lord God, I pray that you continue, Father, to take control, mighty God, over the network this morning, oh God, and that, Lord God, everything will go according to how... Lord God, you have set it up, mighty God, this morning, Father. I pray that, Lord God, that, Lord, you, mighty God, will continue, Father, to help that one, mighty God, that may feel low in the spirit, to always rejoice, mighty God, and to just say thank you, uh, oh God, for all that you have done, mighty God, in their life. Dear Lord, I pray this morning, oh God, because we know that you are a good God. We know you're a savior. We know, mighty God, that you are a king of kings. And so, Lord God, I pray that you, oh God, take control this morning. Bless us and keep us all as we look to you, Father, and say thanks in your precious and marvelous name, God, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you, everyone. Amen. amen.